masters, you ought to consider with yourselves to bring in, God shield us, a lion amongst the ladies is a most dreadful thing. For there is not a more fearful wall foul than your lion living, and we ought to look to it. Therefore, another prologue must tell that he is not a lion. <laughs> yes, you, you must name his name, and half of his face must be seen to the lion's neck. And you must speak to the same thus, or to the same effect. Um, uh, lady! I would uh, wish you, I would entreat you not to fear, not to tremble, for I am a man, as other men are. And indeed, and let him name his name, and tell the plain that he is. Snog the joiner. Well, it shall be so. Oh, but there is two odd things. That is, to bring the moonlight into a chamber. For you know, Camus and Thisbe did meet by moonlight. Doth moonlight shine at night we play our play? Hmm. A calendar! A calendar! Look at the almanac! Find our moonshine! Find our moonshine!
Go, bring them in, for we will hear that claim. For never any game can be amiss when simpleness and duty tender it. Our sport shall be to take what they mistake. <laughs> Oh, 
Black! Oh, night whichever ought, when day is not! I fear my Disney's promise is forgot! Thou wall, oh sweet, oh lovely wall! <laughs> That stand is between her father's ground and mine. And wall, oh wall, oh sweet and lovely wall, show me thy chink to blink through with mine. I'm. Thanks, courteous wall. Don't you ye well for this? But what see I? No thisby do I see. O oh, wicked wall, cursed be thy stones for thus deceiving me. The wall, methinks, being sensible, should curse again. No, no, in truth, deceiving me is thisby's <laughs> She is to enter now, and I am sorry to the wall. <laughs> you shall see, it shall fall back as I told you. Yonder she comes. Oh,
bright, for by thy gracious golden glittering gleams, I trust you taking my truest this be sight. <laughs> but stay, O oh smite, but mock, poor knight, what dreadful dole is here? Eyes, do you see? Thy mantle good, what stained with blood? <laughs> Oh, fate, come, come, cut friend and thrum, quail, crow, conclude. This passion and the death of a dear friend would go near to make a man look sad. Be shrew my heart, but I pity the man. Oh, wherefore nature hath the lion's frame, since lion vile hath healthy flower, my dear. Which is, no, no, which was the fairest dame that lived, that loved, that light, that looketh with cheer. <laughs> Come, tears confound, out sword to wound the pap of Perimus. I that walked out were heart dog. Hope thus die I. Give me your hands, if we be friends, and Robin shall restore. Amen. <laughs>